Welcome to Random Battles 85. We've got a promising looking start here. Obama Snow against Dusk Noir. And we have an opportunity to do something really funny. In fact, this is a new Dusk Noir set. I kind of like it. Substitute Pain Split, Focus Punch, Poltergeist. It's kind of fire. But um, we can sub here. Next, we eat that up. Actually, Focus Punch isn't as good as I'm thinking immediately. But I can Pain Split the Obama Stone, be annoying. And wow, that's almost a full heal. Um, Regi Ice looks decent. But the problem is, Regi Ice doesn't do anything to Obama Stone, really. They kind of just bonk into each other. But I guess that's fine. Ice Beam does about as much to them as Wood Hammer does to me, but they took recoil from that. And I can... I can actually just rest here, honestly. You can keep hitting yourself. Ooh, evil spotted. Now we do get a Thunderbolt on it, which is pretty nice. But yeah, they're gonna sub up. They're gonna protect. So that's all this thing does. Yeah, sub again. Mm hmm. Now the thing is, we kind of stall this thing out. Hmm, it works so easy though. In fact, I'm gonna switch out here. I'm gonna get my hazards. I'm just gonna ignore this bozo. Start setting up everything. Um, well, Thunder Punch wants to get rid of the sub. And uh, now we just spike again. Now we have an incoming flamethrower for sure. So we can use that opportunity to get in Kingdra. Use our Lumberry there. Now we're looking really good. Bomba Snow just instantly dies. We're set up. Salazzle's gonna have a really hard time coming in later. Okay, Haunch Crow, Terror Water, Wave Crash here. Get that Oko. Get that guy out of here. Oh lord, it's, it's Reggie Alecki. Okay, we don't allow the spin. Never allow a spin here. So we can take that. And now we can Poltergeist. Oh, we're gonna die. What is our Reggie Ace sleep counter on? I'm not sure. Um, okay, Reggie like is suddenly incredibly scary. Wasn't expecting something to show up those faster than plus one Kingdra. Uh, I'm trying to look back here at what I last did with my my Reggie Ace. Okay, we have one turn of sleep gun. Now, how much does this do to Reggie Ace? Um, we can take it. We can take the abuse here. Maybe. Oh, jeez. That was a max roll, by the way. In fact, I think it's more my favorite to rest again. Uh, there's the rapid spin. It was bound to happen. Okay, they're gonna volt out to Salazzle now. And I'm gonna Thunderbolt this thing. Uh, this is not good. That that's a lot. That's Reggie really Lucky. Really, it's just such a problem. Okay, we're gonna sack Thorns here. Go back into Kingdra. Can at least get off a of Wave Crash here, or we Waterfall. Okay, that's dead. Um, but uh, now I'm dead. I think I just let Kingdra go here. We can go back into Reggie Ice. And uh, I'm just gonna Ice Beam. Okay, I'm gonna die. Uh, that sucks. That would've been nice damage. Oh gosh. 
Well, we gotta go Pincurgeon here. Even though we powered them up, it's my only chance at survival. Which doesn't feel great. Oh, they have Clot Sire. Well, if you're Water Absorb, you're Water Absorb, right? Alright, burn. Where it's so easy. Okay, knock off at least likely to kill here. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get absolutely mauled by Reggie Alecki after this. That terrain's still up. And we don't, we're not even strong enough to kill them. This Reggie Alecki is just a dead sentence against my team. We just are, are out of our tools to deal with it. Because it's just so strong without a ground type. It's so hard to deal with that. So, unfortunately, we drop it. But that is just someone who's really highly ranked, so we don't lose a lot of ELO for it. Alright, into our next one. We've got Sinistra Pulti... Or, not Pulti, guys. Sinistra Umbreon. Um, it's for, pretty much a free Toxic. And uh, otherwise, he's got an interesting team, I suppose. Got some power, got some speed, got some bulk. So uh, yeah, let's just go for Tox gear. Man, I'm just realizing how sad it was to see Reggie Ice fall to a special attacker. Very sad indeed. And not only was Reggie like really good just for its, its own merit, power, but also rapid spinning, super valuable. I thought that story would take the Thunderbolt better because it has decent bulk. And obviously the HP is low, but still, it's, it's mostly healthy going into that interaction. But not meant to be. And uh, Moo Moo 798 here, taking their time. That is, if they are even here. Because there's a very real possibility they're not. Okay, they're. Oh, Lord, see you again. I just got done with you, dude. I just dealt with this. Oh my god. Wait, this thing is nasty plot? What the hell? What's going on here? Is this some... Um... So, th can this guy even ever get a nasty plot? Yeah, it has a Terror Blast set now. What the hell? And uh, my team is super vulnerable to it. That's not cool. So Electrode outspeeds it. Um, we have to foul play again here. We need to get this thing low enough. So Electrode can actually revenge kill it. Man, they're going all the way. Now I think Umbreon's going to be more useful in the long run. And I don't think I need two fighting types. I don't think I need it. Let's give him Conkholder. And now I can go Electrode. And, uh... Just in case they tear here, I'm gonna Volt. Okay, they actually just go out to Sinistraw. Um, let's go back into Umbreon. And, uh... I'll just Foul Play here. Kind of scope him out. Okay, well, Salazzle having a nasty plot set is... It makes it more interesting, that's for sure. Oh, they immediately go for that. But, we have our counterplay ready. This is a free close combat. Watch the gotcha still doing decent damage, though. But, um, Umbreon no longer just free against it. But, early Terra committal. Usually good. Usually good to uh, be the person to tear a second, if possible. And we do have Wish support on Umbreon too, which is nice. Okay, so Salazzle down. Mr. Macha can't come back in. Uh, yeah, we can just go Umbreon here. Don't have to worry about, like, Psychic Voice or anything. So I can Wish up. 
And I don't think this thing can kill Infernape. Yeah, it's not strong enough. Without a boost. So we can heal up Infernape. A little bit, I guess. I'm not sure how much this wish will do for it. Oh, Strength Zap. It's annoying. Terror Fire Heat Proof is interesting here. But I'm going to close combat first. Or Heat Proof. Overheat. My bad. And I can just go back and dump on here. Who cares? And I can go back into Inferno, but I'm just going to keep it up as long as I can. Because um, Frigger F Body Slams don't discourage me too much. Okay, they go for a Shadow Ball, I full heal that. Now I can close combat. Frigger F does not want to deal with the close combat here. So either we're going to see a sack or we're going to see something new. Okay, we see something new, it's Vespa Queen. <laughs> but we do have over here, so let's just go for that. And this is pretty likely to kill. But if I miss, or if I miss the kill, it could have been very bad, but we don't. Frigga's probably going to come in now. Since uh, Infernape is... Its stats are certainly somewhere right now. One might describe them as in the gutter. Lapras. Okay. Oh, it lived. And I... I'm lucky. Okay. I, I'm i running low on close comments, actually. I'm just gonna knock here. Okay, so, uh... I just get to keep my Infernape for free there. So that's super lucky. So our Palisand has... Not a great matchup against the Sinistra. I'm gonna show up and get some rocks down at least. It's not much at this point in the game, but... It's better than nothing. Okay, so we can get that off. I can wish here. Okay, we paralyze him. And I'm gonna let Umbreon heal up this time. Since we're taking a lot of heat. Okay, and no one, no one gets to do anything, which is works out for me actually, since I get my leftover healing. Okay, Hoopa. Um, we can live anything this does. If we get off the foul play, it's dead. Okay, it's dead, and they forfeit. Okay, uh, slightly suspicious game, especially just dodging hydro pump. It's why the Lapras just lives. Life Orb Close Combat from Infernape. But, um, okay, you know, we got it. We got the win, that's what matters. Um, so this looks like a free Draco, if I've ever seen one. We have some decent Pokemon here. We've got another Electro, which is fun. We've got the other Conkledur as well. I'm just gonna drop a Draco. Okay, they have a Screamtail. We'll swamp it on that. Get down some rocks. Don't have to worry about a thunder wave. Oh, they go gumshoes. Well, this thing's about to absolutely slap me up. But I can at least get my rocks down. And it's going to take most of its health doing this. Can we flip turn to kill it? No. That would be too easy. Um, we can't go Electrode, though, surely. Yeah, we can just Electrode Thunderbolt here. Okay, that's Gumshoe's gone. The Screamtail's gonna be obnoxious, so... Screamtail's very good at being very annoying in random battles. Which it's... Because its bulk is pretty excellent, if I do say so. And, uh... Well, what are you? Earthquake doesn't kill me. Even if you're the life orb. We got a Thunderbolt here first. 
Make sure it's not the uh, belly drum set. And now I'm going to leave it. I'm going to get ice sharded here. Yep, there's that. And uh, bullet punch is a kill, actually. And they actually just gave it to me, which is surprising. Because we are up. We've got, we're down only one Mon. They're down two, and we've got rocks. So overall, a good situation to be in. Mm -mm. Terra Normal Facade is super tempting to me right now. I'm going to go for it. Scrimtail is looking like my number one threat so far. And I'd like it to... I'd like it to not be my number one threat. Okay, they're going to do that. That's fine. And uh, they can go Tauros here, but... Still getting off some pretty good damage on it. Are they go Solazzle? This thing's just dead. Free Solazzle? In this economy? Absolutely. So I'm going to go Banette here. And what is certainly a close combat. Yep. And uh, we just Poltergeist immediately. Okay, they go Screamtails. This thing's probably banded then. I'm just going to say that's banned. It comes back out. Third shot doesn't kill me though. Yeah, we can just Poltergeist here. Yep, so that's banned. Wait, wait. <laughs> You're disabled. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wait, you can. I should have Shadow Snake. I forgot. He can just, he's just going to struggle to death. But uh, I think Electrode's good here. If they have something crazy in the back, we can at least taunt it. You, you're not allowed to do whatever you are about to do here. Okay, that's fine, honestly. Well, is it? Is that fine? Uh, well, we might as well send in Walking Wake. To at least go for this. So, I mean, either it does something here or it doesn't, right? And they still have their terror though, which is scary. Are we Earth's power on this guy? Yeah, so if they go Terra Steel, that should be good for me. Oh wait. So we're gonna live this, but the game isn't over, so we missed. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Walking Wake. You piece of garbage. Okay, so we at least get off good damage here with Bullet Punch. Actually, really good damage. And with close combat ship, we should be able to just kill him here. I'm actually going to rest once here. I think you're going to go something stupid. Yeah, so we draw the Terra Steel. I don't have to make the gamble here. So now I can just earth power. And they go for the flinch. Thankfully, do not get it. Okay, Como. Surprisingly scary there in the end game. Also, I'm pretty surprised Walking Wake just tanked the 5 hit scale shot. That's really surprising. Only to miss, which is pretty disappointing. But, uh... Thankfully, using scale shot so much, it really weakened itself a lot. Scale shot in close combat. Alright. Didn't I play you already? Pretty sure I did. Septile into... Zarina. That's a free U-turn. What else do we have, though? Blaziken? Very nice. Sword Stance Rayquaza. Possibly game ending. Eruption, this guy. We've got a pretty strong team. We've got a very strong team. If they go straight into Volk, will I get burned? No. Uh, does Eruption kill you? Yeah, it just straight up kills you. So, uh, we'll just do that. Unless they're Terra Water. Can you see anything even be Terra Water? It can. But, uh, if they go Terra Water, we're probably still fine. I think Zarina would be. Actually, Zarina's Terra Steel. 
it wouldn't be super fun. Okay, but they just let Volcarona go. So quick kill there. That's nice. Uh, if they go Sceptile again, I am risking them getting off a of Sceptile, but I don't want Typhlosion to get hit. So I'm just going to back into Zarina here. Okay, they just go for Rock Slide, and they crit me, which is annoying. But I can U-turn again. Okay, this time Koparaja. <laughs> I think you know what I'm about to do here. A little trick I call Eruption. Okay, Typhlosion picking up some kills big time here. And uh, if they go into Sceptile, I can still do the same thing with Zarina again. It has enough health. And we are now getting to the range for Sceptile. We'll die to U-turn if it tries to stick around. Oh, Gyarados. Interesting. Um, can Bruxus just, like, come in against you? Do whatever he wants. I think so. Yeah, we can just Psychic Fangs this thing. Okay, Earthquake. I mean, did very little damage, actually. Um, they are likely to kill me, though, but I, I can just Revenge with Rayquaza. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, we are still alive. Fancy that. Let's go Bruxish. Okay, so Garrett up 6-3. to three. Pretty nice. Have some incredibly strong stuff out on the field and still operating. I'm shocked. I think we got super lucky with the rolls on that Earthquake there. I, I sh really should have died. Because uh, if we go back here, we can see the roll was like 48 to 57. And we got, yeah, literally the minimum roll twice in a row. Very fortunate for the fish. And I would think they, I would think they would have shed tail by now and sept tail. So I'm thinking it doesn't have it. It's like leech seed or something. But again, if they go into sept I'm just going to Zarina again. No reason to give a Bruxish, which how powerful it is. Yeah, so far we've only operated... Okay, they... Wits Choice items. Yeah, they... They know the role science as well. Um, so we go up to 3 and 1. Very nice. Yeah, we were operating with only 3 choice Pokemon as far into the game as we were. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, sometimes in random battles, it can be very nice to have a bunch of choice guys, but sometimes you see a bunch of choice items, you're like, oh my god, I have no utility. But uh, right now, this is a this is some lowering lead. Pro Pass can Thunder Wave me, and that's it. That's all it can do. Let's just call mind here. Okay, it goes for Stealth Rock. I think we just take damage now. Can we get a Milotic? It's probably gonna haze. Yeah, it does. Okay, so it definitely wants to heal up now. I think we go Lantern. Actually, to Scalds. Okay. Yeah, because now we can uh, do that move, get away. But who would want to go on Altaria? I mean, we can just immediately throw in the Moon Blast here. We're actually going to call mine first. Because I know my load is going to come back. Yeah, that Moon Guy's being as weak as hell against this thing. What is this? This is a monstrous Milotic. Uh, back into Lantern. And, uh, just actually got a Thunder Wave here. Okay, Altaria comes out. It's fine. I'd love to go Sceptile. And, like, try to sub stuff. This thing's not gonna Brave Bird. Or will it? Okay, it Earthquakes. 
Okay, now I can sub spam. See if it has a Brave Bird there. It's, yeah, it's taking a bunch of damage. Ooh, but Torch Song's not great. Let's go Lantern here. I have to deny this thing from getting crazy. Okay, you're gonna roost. Okay, this team is proving annoying so far to actually like, get progress on. Because uh, it's just strong. Now, Shiftry has the potential to do some major work. Okay, you're gonna go straight to Milotic here. You're always doing Milotic on Shiftry, or I mean, not on Shiftry, but against me here. And uh, Low Kick is an Oko on Pro Pass. Okay, they go Altaria. This is a free knock, though. Nothing wants to take the knock. Okay, so maybe I'll maybe Shiftry can finally uh, get us a breakthrough here. Just Leaf Blade here. Pro okay, Pro Pass goes down, which is nice. Still for plus one, we can just knock here. Oh, they go Terra Fairy. Okay. Um, we just go Torn here. Bleak Wind. God, for that Milotic is such an issue. And Bleak Wind missing is also quite an issue. Give me Skeleturge, please. Okay, we actually are going to get Skeleturge here at least. Um, we can actually just Volt off of this, in case they want to try to save it, which they do. I'm thinking I like the idea of Rapska bringing Shiftry back, since Shiftry is such a problem for their team. Shiftry, you're back in. And I'm just gonna psych against this. Perhaps just not doing anything right now. So we can actually keep Altaria very low, which is pretty cool. Now we do have to go Shiftry just to outspeed it, which kind of sucks. Like go into Mr. Craw. Okay, can Leaf Blade that. Yeah, because Aqua Jet doesn't kill me yet. So we can take out that. Ursa Luna. Why you? Okay, let's just Leaf Blade. Even if they get Altaria, that is almost... Uh, I should've knocked. Should've knocked, shouldn't I? Uh, do we put our hands in Sceptile? In Sep... Hmm, that's kind of... That's one way to say it. Yes, I think I will focus plus, so. though. What are you gonna do? Just facade? I think they're just gonna facade. I'm gonna go Terra Steel. Yeah, they do just facade. Gotcha. And they've already terrored, so this is a free Giga Drain to kill. Okay, we're suddenly in a very good position. Nice. Pick up the win. Into 23-27. That's a nice gain. 4-1. Oh, that was a, that was a scary game because they had a really solid defensive backbone. But I got the call on facade because I knew they didn't want to go headlong rush. Obviously into Sceptile. And I wasn't in the I wasn't so cornered that I had to Terra there, so calling out Terra. Terra Steel even it's pretty tough for them to do. So, pick up the win, go four and one up into the low twenty three hundreds. And I'm gonna call it there. If you're still with me, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.